When maize stock are in plenty, do you know that you can manage to preserve them and conserve them in high quality and feed them to your dairy cows to an extent that they can manage to help them increase milk production? On this tutorial, today we look on how you can manage to conserve and preserve dry maize stocks easily and in the simplest manner in a way which is almost similar to that of silage. The method is super easy and can be used in any dry maize stock, regardless the extent of dryness, it can still manage to conserve. We shall guide you and take you to step by step from the solution that we shall be using and also the materials that you need. To start with, we assessed the farm, we took a look on the state of the maize stocks and how they are and then also we also uh, take the team which were cutting down the maize stocks. Remember, these maize stocks were preserved immediately from cutting. Then there is this solution that we are supposed to use, the livestock microbes. Livestock microbes is a solution combined with uh, beneficial microbes to help in digestion and also in fermentation. This is the most and the best to use when preserving dry maize stocks. Please don't use molasses. Kindly use the livestock microbes. From there, we have to see how the maize stock is cut and then the team started harvesting. As you can see, these are the guys who are harvesting and then, so for easier workflow, we ensure that the first harvest has now and that on the other side, the team starts setting up the machines. And on this case, we use the chaff cutter, yes. The chaff cutter is what was available and that's what we used. Then from the setting up of the machines, we get to the next stage. Though our conservation pit is cemented huh, and well plastered, we had to add this polythene paper. The reason why we added this polythene paper is to ensure that we have a good environment with no air. Remember it should be airtight all through. This one enhances faster and proper fermentation. If there is no polythene paper, you find uh, most cases that uh, the conserved fodder or even the silage starts to rot, either at the margins or along the ends. So we don't want such scenario. So we had to put this layer of uh, polythene paper. Remember, you are putting this layer both inside and outside. So once we put it and lay it very well on the lower side and the up on the both sides, we had, uh, and this is how it looks, by the way, mm? and you can see. That blue drum that you can see, we are putting water to so that we can roll it and it will help us to compact. It must be well compact. This one will hasten the fermentation and also will keep our preserved dry maize stocks in good condition. If it's not well compact and there are at some spaces with air, it will lead to rotting. So as the team cuts, we have uh, the, uh, the chopped maize stalks falling inside the pit and at the meantime we are also diluting the livestock microbes on the ratio of 3 liters in 20 liters. Now what if uh, you have, uh, you can also decide to add some maize jam if you have it. This is how our diluted solution looks like. This is livestock microbes diluted with water. Now this one can conserve, uh, let's say around Around a turn, yes, this one can go for a turn. So what you do once you've diluted the solution, you just have to sprinkle it over the choppings and then after adding all that solutions, the micro livestock microbes, the mix jam and the choppings and you've mixed it thoroughly, what is now left is to ensure that you've compact it well. Then now you repeat the whole cycle until your pit is completely filled. But ensure it's well compact. Remember to like, follow and subscribe.